We're gonna make a immortal T for the R9 Mini. I'll link the file I found on Thingiverse. But this receiver is tiny. There's the antenna. It'll be definitely susceptible to taking some hits and messing some shit up. So that's definitely why we're gonna print this. I enlarged it a little bit to hold the type of antenna tubes I'm gonna use since I'm gonna use the forever tubes from Race Day Quad. And we'll see how that works out. And we'll play with this thing right here. So let's check her out. So this is the R9 Mini to go with my R9 Lite for my X Lite. Let's see if it even registers on this sucker. 1.1 grams. It is very tiny. The bind button is like the smallest thing I've ever seen. But it should have F port, or yeah, F port, right? So you're running S bus and your RSSI in one line, and then you just run it into your flight controller and do a couple settings, and boom, done. But this thing is tiny. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm gonna make this mount, put this together, so you can check that out, see how it works. Probably mount it in my seven inch. Once we mount it in the seven inch, we might take it for a flight, see what kind of range we're getting. What I'm gonna throw it in my trusty old GT M7 from Diatone. I was running an L9R receiver. We'll pull that out. We'll put in the mini once this is done printing and I build those. But it's pretty good. We'll see how it's supposed to do. This is supposed to be an endurance quad. It you know needs nothing less than something like this if it's working properly. And then we'll see how it is. But I think that once the Immortal T is done printing, or the Immortal T style clamshell I found on Thingiverse is done printing, I'll get that put together. I'll glue on the you know the antenna tubes, everything like that. We'll wire this thing up. We'll get it to go zoom zoom, and we'll just test the telemetry, see what's going on with that. See how it's all gonna fly. Hopefully it flies real nice. But we'll be back shortly. I think for the value on the X Lite, the R9 Lite, the R9 Mini, the value you get is phenomenal. I think for the price, for the distance, I got, you know, 0.8 of a mile. That's pretty far. I don't know. Like, it's a long way. If you're flying out that far, that is more than you need for mid range. You want to do some lines and you, if you still have good video feed and you're pushing three quarters of a mile out, you're far. So, plenty of value. It's a great combo. I think, think about it. If you were to pre-order, I pre-ordered both of them. So I got the module 44 and the receiver for, what, $9.99? Pretty unbeatable. The printer part, exactly what I could ask for. So, and my, my thoughts is worth it. If you want to try it, try it. What's the worst that can happen? Sell it on RC groups. I did a little bit of freestyle flying too, I'll throw that video. If you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed any part of it, like and subscribe. But I'll put the freestyle video up too, so I'll post this video and then the next video after it'll be the one where I, I do some stuff. I may have power looped a train under a creek bridge with water flowing under it and all kinds of stuff. I don't know, I may have. It 7 inch flies very different than my 5. but. 
It flies. And if it flies, I'm gonna do some stuff to it. That's how I like to live life. <laughs>